We take this step. We change the hips. We take this step. We change the hips. We take this step. We change the hips. Okay? So I'm going to give this a count. So for rumba, in international style, the timing is two, three, four. Hold count one. Nothing happens on count one. Okay? So in between each of those counts, there's what I call an and. So it's two and three and four, one and. Okay? Between the four and the one, there's no and. We don't do anything between there. We just hold it. Four, one. Okay? Sometimes you might hear it be counted as quick, quick, slow. That's the same time. I mean, it's still going to be quick and quick and slow and quick and quick and slow. Okay, so what this looks like with the timing, I'm going to count it in the numbers. Two, three, four, hold one. So it will look like this. Two. As I transfer my weight, that's the number. If I change feet, one heel goes up, one heel goes down on the number. Now what happens on the and? We do the and position. And. Okay. Three. That's the change of the weight. And. Four. Hold one. And. Two. And. Three. And. Four. Hold one. And. Two. And. Three. And. Four. Hold one. And. Two. And. Three. And. Four. Hold one. And. Okay? So you notice the step changes on the number. The hips change on the and. The count in between the numbers. Okay? One more time. Step. Hip. Step. Hip. Step. Hold. And two and three and four hold one and okay so it's always on the and count do it one more time two and three and four hold one and two and three and four hold one and Okay? All right. So as we do this step, a few things have to happen as I take this step. So there's three things that have to happen. So first of all, my heel has to hit the ground. My weight has to go to that foot. Uh, and my knee has to straighten out. Okay? So in the walks, notice I have one straight leg. As I move my leg, I can bend it. As I put my weight on it, it needs to straighten out. This is for the international style. There's an American style that looks a little different. So for American, I step on a bent leg and then straighten it out. And that gives a little bit different look. Okay? Go to the American section for that. This is the international section. Okay? So as I step forward, I have to put my weight on the heel, uh, straighten out my knee, uh, and my weight goes to that foot. So my heel goes down, my knee straightens up, and my weight goes to the foot. So those three things that are happening uh, every time I take a step on the numbers. Okay? So we have two. Okay? So my foot kind of strikes the floor, the heel goes down, the knee goes straight, and the weight arrives there all at the same time. Okay? So I have two. Switch the hips. And next thing, straighten it out. Let the heel hit and let the weight go there all at the same time. Three and four. Hold one. Okay, so as I count on the number, those three things have to happen every single step, every single time. Okay, so we have two and three. And notice on the numbers, that's when I'm doing the triangle. Okay, in between the triangles are the ands. That's how we get from one triangle to the next. So we get from position one and position two with the and step, okay? So it's not a position that we are going to stop at necessarily. We'll stop there when we're rotating. So if I'm rotating, I'll stop in that and position. But sometimes I need to continue to walk 
on to the next thing. So my foot will have to continue to move through. So the and position can be a position on its own, but sometimes it's just a transitional position to get us to the next step. Okay. So after every hip action, there's another step. All right, so we have two. All three of those things happen. Heel goes down, weight goes to the foot, uh, knee straightens out. Okay, those three things happen. Three, and four, and that's my triangle again. And two, and three, and four. Okay, so every time that's giving me the, the count, so I know that I have to put my heel down, whichever foot I'm stepping to, all right, put the heel down, weight goes to that foot, and the knee straightens out, okay? So a little exercise you can do is, as your foot moves around, as we track our foot, bend it all you want. Notice it's bending up. I'm bending my knee as much as possible to give my foot as much space as possible to go to the toenail. Okay, so I want to pick my heel up as much as possible when I track my foot through. Okay? But then when I put the heel down, I have to lift up the other heel, but allow my weight to go to the heel that just went down. Okay? So if I'm going backwards, I can bend my knee while I'm moving it. Okay? Now I can fall over, then I can bend my knee while I'm moving it. I can put the heel down, straighten out the knee, and allow the weight to go to it all at the same time. Okay? So I put my, uh, bend my knee, allow my foot to move through, put the heel down, one heel comes up, as I put that heel down, knee straightens out, and the weight, meaning my head and spine, go over that foot. Okay? So as I tell you to change weight from one foot to the next, that just means that my, my hips and my head and my spine are going from one foot to the next. Okay? So that's a full weight change. And I, I'll talk about committing your weight to that foot. Because sometimes people will do this and they're not committed. And they're like, man, my weight's on this foot. And I'm like, well, pick up that foot. And then they have to, notice what they have to do. They have to shift, then they can pick up that foot. Okay? So if you're in the middle here, both heels are down, you haven't committed your weight to one foot or the other. Uh, and the balance isn't gonna be right and you're not gonna be able to turn very well from here. So commit one foot, uh, commit your weight to one foot or to the other, okay? And that weight is happening from my spine, my hips, and my uh, rib cage here. My head are going over that other foot. Right? So that's how we change our weight. Notice it's not a very big step, right? It's not a very big step at all. It's just a weight change from foot to foot. Okay? We bring it in, weight change from foot to foot. Okay? Weight is here, there's a little pressure into this one. Now the weight goes over the other foot. Okay? Heels up, heels down. Okay.